Hey, what is up everyone? This is iReviews back with another video for everyone who managed to stay on 9.1 and jailbreak their device with the latest Panga tool for iOS 9.1. So these are the top 50 city tweaks compatible with iOS 9.1. Color badges. This tweak will colorize the badges on your device based on the color of the icon of that app. So you can see here the mail icon, it has a blue color and the badge will also be blue. Barrel. Barrel is one of the most known city tweaks ever and what it does is that it will add these cool animations when you swipe through your pages on your home screen as you can see pretty awesome now if you want to change this animation all you have to do is just go to settings go to barrel go here to mode and pick any animation you want custom cover this tweak allows us to customize the covers on the lock screen of your device as you can see this one right here now to customize it all you have to do is just go to the settings of this tweak go to themes and here you have all these different themes that you can choose from Beta Font 3 allows you to customize the fonts of your device. When you install it, you will get an icon on your springboard, you open it up, you go to swap mode, you go to basic and here you will find all the fonts that you download from Cydia. All you have to do is just go to Cydia, go to sources and then just find fonts Beta Font 3 and you will see them like this right here. Just click on it and respring your device and it will apply it to your device. Double cut allows you to enter your email quickly simply by double tapping the add key. All you have to do is just go to the settings of this tweak and enter your email like this right here and then you can see if I double tap the add key it will enter my email. Harbor this tweak will add this cool animation on the dock of your device as you can see it right here pretty awesome. Now you can also add as many icons as you want on the dock of your device and if you want to customize it just go to the settings of this tweak and just go to harbor and you can customize the look of your dock. Color banners. This tweak allows to colorize the banners of your device. So you can see here on the settings of this tweak you have three sections. You have the banners, you have the lock screen banners and also the notification center. You can see here if I test a banner you can see it has a different color and it looks pretty awesome. You can see also here I can test a notification and it has a different color. So you can pick your own color or you can colorize it based on the color of the app's icon. 4C. This tweak will bring the 3D touch features to older devices. You can see here if I tap and hold one of the icons it will show me the quick action menu. As you can see, it works very nice and pretty smoothly. HUD Dismiss. This tweak allows to easily dismiss the volume HUD of your device simply by tapping it. Now, as you can see here, the volume HUD takes a while to disappear, but with this tweak, all you have to do is just tap it to dismiss it. iApp Lock. This tweak allows to lock any of your apps with the passcode. All you have to do is just open this tweak which you will find in the springboard of your device. Open the icon and then just click here and choose any of the apps that you want to protect with the passcode. Then go here to settings, go to lock passcode and just choose a passcode that you want to use to protect your apps. Image board. This tweak allows to add any of your images as the background of your keyboard as you can see it right here. To do that all you need to do is just go to your settings, go to image board, select an image and then just click save image, it will respring your device and all the changes will take effect. Splitify. This is a free tweak which will add the split view on your iOS 9.1 device. As you can see if I swipe here it will show me a list of my apps and I can go ahead and open any of these apps directly here on the split view, pretty awesome, it will also add the screen rotation to non supported devices like the smaller iPhone 6 or 6s and also the 5s and older devices which do not have the landscape view. Instant Touch ID. This tweak allows to unlock your device using Touch ID without even waking up the screen of your device. All you have to do is just place the finger here on the Touch ID and it will unlock your device. iWidgets. 
This is also a well-known tweak which allows you to add widgets to the home screen of your device. All you have to do is just tap and hold and you will see a list of all the widgets that you have installed. Just click one of them and it will add it to the home screen of your device. Last app. This tweak allows you to use an activator gesture to move between your two last used apps. You can see here if I open the calculator app, double tap on the status bar, it will take me to the notes app, double tap again and it will take me back to the calculator app. Now after you install this tweak all you have to do is just go to settings, go to activator, pick a gesture and then just click on last app and you will assign that gesture to the last app. Prism board. This tweak will add these cool colors and animations to the keyboard of your device and will change them randomly. As you can see, pretty awesome and when you tap the keys, it will show you different colors. Respring progress. This tweak will show this bar which shows you the progress of respring when you respring your device. Sleek code. This tweak allows you to customize the passcode view on your lock screen as you can see here you can remove the rings around the numbers and you can also remove the blur on the background pretty awesome you can also remove any of the buttons that you don't need on the lock screen of your device and to do all that all you need to do is just go to settings go to sleek code and here you can customize your lock screen using this tweak you have passcode settings right here and then here you can remove stuff from the lock screen of your device using sleek code. Zeppelin. This tweak allows you to change the icon of your carrier. All you have to do is enable it then go to theme and pick any theme you like. You can also download more themes from Cydia. Just search for Zeppelin. CC settings. This is a very useful tweak which allows you to add extra toggles on the control center of your device as you can see them right here. Now to add them you need to go to the settings, go to CC settings and here you have all the included toggles and all not included toggles. You can rearrange them or you can enable or disable any of them simply by dragging them like this. Same status. Now this is a simple tweak. If you have noticed, when you go on the lock screen of your device, the status bar is bigger than the status bar on the home screen of your device. So what this tweak does is that it will keep it the same as you can see on the lock screen. Also on the home screen, the size of the status bar is the same. Enable live photos. What this tweak does is that it will enable live photos which is a feature of the iPhone 6s and the 6s plus on older devices. So when you open your camera app, you will have this icon right here. And if you tap it, as you can see, now you will enable live pictures and you can take a live picture simply by tapping the shooter button like this and it will take a live picture. Shy page dots. This tweak will remove the dots from the home screen of your device when you're not doing anything but when you move through your pages it will show you the page dots as you can see them right here. Animone. This is an alternative to Winder Board which has never been updated to work with iOS 9 so now you can use Animone. It's pretty awesome. It also has a better UI so you can see all the changes that you make on the themes of your device. Here you have all the themes that you have downloaded. You just enable them or you can pick each section of the theme to enable just go here and then just enable any section that you want to customize using Animone. Swipe for more. This tweak adds this cool feature to the Cydia app that allows you to quickly install or uninstall tweaks directly from the list here you can see you click remove if you want to remove a tweak or install if you want to install a tweak to your device. Time until alarm. This is a simple tweak which shows you how much time you have left until your alarm goes off you can see here on the right side you have the hours and the minutes until your alarm starts ringing unlock sound this tweak will bring back the old unlock sound to your ios 9.1 device system aperio this is also a simple tweak which will add this nice blur here on the control center of your device as you can see it will blur this part right here and if you go to the settings of this tweak you can change between different styles of blur. Easy respring. This tweak allows you to easily respring your device 
simply by swiping up the home card on the app switcher of your device. Hood Transparent 8 What this tweak does is that it will remove the background of the volume hood. As you can see it right here the volume hood doesn't have a background so it will interrupt you less when you're doing something on your device and you need to turn up or down the volume of your device. Walmart. This is a pretty awesome tweak that will change the wallpaper of your device anytime you unlock your device. So you can see right here, now if I lock and unlock my device, it will be a different wallpaper. You can see it right here, I can lock it again and unlock it and it will have a different wallpaper. You can also set time intervals to change the wallpaper of your device. Cylinder, this is a free alternative to Barrel. It will add these awesome animations when you swipe through the pages on your home screen. Now if you jump to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you have all the effects that you can choose from. You can also choose more than one effect and create a formula and add a custom animation to the home screen of your device. Folder Closer. Now have you ever noticed when you open an app from a folder, and then when you press the home button, it won't take you to the home screen, but it will bring you back to the folder. This tweak will do that. So you open an app from a folder and when you press the home button, it will take you directly to your home screen. Hide app menu. What this tweak does is that it will hide the long app menu from the settings app on your iOS 9.1 device. As you can see here, I don't have a menu of apps which you will normally see here on the settings of your device. Clear Dock. What this tweak does is that it will remove the background from the dock of your device. It's a simple tweak and you don't have any options to configure. Album Art Center. This tweak will add the album art of the now playing song as the background of your control center as you can see it right here and it looks pretty awesome now if you jump to the settings of this tweak here you can choose where you want to see it you can see it only on the media control so it will be the background only of the media controls on your control center or you can set it as a complete background of your whole control center app suite sizer will bring back the old ios 8 app switcher to your iOS 9.1 device. As you can see the app cards right here, you can also resize them, you can make them smaller or bigger and you can do that by going to the settings of this tweak, here you have an enable button, then you can set the size with the slider right here. Blurred. This tweak will replace the stock white iOS keyboard with this dark keyboard and it looks pretty awesome. On the settings of this tweak all you have here is an enable button to enable or disable this tweak. C Clean. This tweak allows you to customize the control center of your device. As you can see right here I have hidden all the background images for the toggles the sliders and also the quick launches. Now you can do that by going to the settings of this tweak here so when you can customize your control center, just enable and disable any of these toggles and then respring your device for the changes to take effect. Dock Shift. This tweak allows you to change the blur style of the dock on your iOS 9 device. So you can see right here, the blur of the dock is much lighter and if you go to the settings of this tweak here you have style if you go here you can pick between different styles and apply them to the dock of your device flame this tweak allows you to customize this Cydia app on your ios 9.1 device on the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then if you go to options here you have all the things that you can customize you can choose the default page for Cydia, and then here you can also enable pull to refresh disable auto refresh and if if you go here you can enable hold to copy you can also share packages and you can also customize the ui of the cydia app hot dog this tweak allows you to customize the lock screen of your device as you can see here you can change the color of the time and the date also you can add a custom slide to unlock text and change the color of the text you can also do more stuff and to do that you need to go to the settings of this tweak and here you have all these sections of the lock screen that you can customize using hot dog. 
iCleaner. This is a very useful jailbreak app which allows you to clean up memory in your device, especially if you have a 16 gig iPhone. This will be very useful for you. It will remove all the unnecessary data from your phone and will free up the space of your iPhone. Icon Art. This tweak will replace the icon of the now playing app with the album art of the song that you're listening to. As you can see it right here, the SoundCloud doesn't have its stock icon, but it will have the album art of the song that I'm listening to. Log Glyph. It will add this awesome animation on the lock screen of your device when you use Touch ID to unlock your device. As you can see, you have an animation and also a sound. If you go to the settings of this tweak, here you have three sections where you can customize the appearance, the behavior and also the animations of Log Glyph. No slow animations. This is a tweak which will speed up the animations of your iOS 9.1 device. You can see when I open and close an app how fast this animation is. And on the settings of this tweak all you have to do is just enable it. And then here you can set the speed of the animations using the slider right here. Portrait Lock. This is a very useful tweak that allows you to choose in which apps you want to enable the portrait lock. So you can see here the portrait lock is not enabled on my device, but when I open the calculator app, you can see it will enable the portrait lock automatically. Preference Organizer 2. This tweak will organize your settings app into four main sections. So you won't have a long list of apps, but you will have four sections. You have the Apple apps, social apps, the tweaks, and also the App Store apps. Reveal menu. This tweak will add the 3D touch features to older devices. So you can see I can tap and hold an icon and it will show me the quick action menu. It will also add the 3D touch switcher feature. As you can see, if I tap and hold, I can go to the app switcher and it will also add the peak and pop feature. You can see here I can peak and pop into this note. As you can see, pretty awesome and it works pretty smoothly. Safari tab count shows you how many tabs you have opened in Safari as you can see here I have three and it shows it here on the corner of your screen You can also tap and hold it to close all the tabs except the current tab So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it for more videos Make sure you subscribe also go ahead and follow me on Twitter You can find a link to my Twitter account in the description of this video